Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this fixed beam by movement area method. The span of the beam is given as 6 meter. In this beam there is a concentrated movement 500 Newton meter and it is acting in the clockwise direction. Now from the point B we are going to find the moment values about the point A. We are going to find the moments separately. First by the vertical reaction RB and then by the moment MP and then by the moment 500. We have to follow left hand side rule. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. First, let us find the moment due to RB. RB is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 6. 6 into RB, we will get 6 RB. We will get a triangular shaped diagram. Now, let us find the moment due to MB. Let us assume that it is acting in the clockwise direction. So the moment will be minus MB. The bending moment diagram will be a rectangle. And we know that it is negative. Now let us make the diagram due to the moment 500. It is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. The diagram will be in the shape of a rectangle. Let us keep this diagram as number 1. Let us keep this as number 2 and this one as number 3. Now let us find area 1. It is a triangle. We know the area formula of a triangle. Half into BH. Here the breadth is 6 and the height is 6 RB. Let us apply them. For area 1 we will get 18 RB. Let us find area 1 X1 bar. We know area 1, let us apply that. We need to find x bar 1. For this triangle, the centroid distance towards the left is 1 by 3 into B. Here the breadth is 6. So 1 by 3 into 6. For area 1 x1 bar, we will get 36 RB. Now let us find area 2. We know that it is a rectangle. For this rectangle, the area is 6 into MB. Since it is negative, we have to apply the negative sign. Now let us find area 2 x bar 2. We know area 2, let us apply that. We need to find x bar 2. For this rectangle, the centroid lies in the center. When we divide 6 by 2, we will get the centroid. For area 2 x bar 2, we will get a minus 18 MB. Now let us find area 3. For this rectangle, the area is 500 into 3. We will get 1500. Now let us find area 3 x bar 3. Let us apply the area 3. For this rectangle, the centroid distance is 3 upon 2. For area 3 x bar 3, we will get a minus 2250. We know that area upon EA is equal to 0. Let us apply the values of area 1, area 2 and area 3. And let us make this equation. Let us keep this equation as number 1. Also we know that area x bar upon EA is equal to 0. Let us apply the values of area 1 x1 bar, area 2 x2 bar and area 3 x3 bar so that we can make this equation let us keep this equation as number 2 after solving these two equations we will get RB and MB now let us find the vertical reaction RA we know that in this beam there is no load so the values of RA and RB will be same but they will be in the opposite directions. RB is acting in the upward direction. So RA should be acting in the downward direction. Now let us take a moment about A and find MA. Let us assume that MA is acting in the clockwise direction. 
or B is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 6. These three movements are acting in the clockwise direction so all three of them are negative. Finally for MA we will get a positive value that means our assumption is correct. MA is acting in the clockwise direction. Now let us find the shear force values. I am going to find them from the point A and towards the point B. In this case we have to follow right hand side rule. Upwards will be positive and downwards will be negative. Using the rule we can find the shear force values. Here you can see the shear force diagram. Now let us find the bending moment values. First let us find it in the point A. In the point A we have the moment MA which is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive. In the point C there is a concentrated moment. So in the point C we have to find the moment in two times. First at just left of C and then at just right of C. Let us find the moment at just left of C. MA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive. RA is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 3. For the movement at just left of C, we will get a minus 250 Newton meter. Now let us find the movement at just right of C. For that with this value we have to add the concentrated movement 500. So for the movement at just right of C we will get 250 Newton meter. To find the bending movement at B let us use left hand side rule. MB is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. Here you can see the bending moment diagram. Here there are two points of contraflexures. In this point let us make a section and find the distance. No need to make the section on the right side because this diagram is symmetrical. You can see that I have made a section at a distance of x from the point A. In this section we can find the moment. We know that that is 0. Using that concept we can find x which is 1. Let us enter that. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.